Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Andrea, and I am a full-time working mom of three, here to provide you with some real-life moments. The purpose of my videos and my channel is to provide videos to moms and dads who find themselves struggling to balance all of the aspects of parenthood. In today's video, I'm really putting myself out there and literally re revealing all the laundry, dirty and clean. <laughs> This has been a culmination of two incredibly busy weeks, and unfortunately, the house week, the housework has suffered greatly. Our schedule doesn't lend itself to much wiggle room, so if I fall out of my routine, even in the slightest, it's just a snowball around us, and it is really hard to get back on track. But this is why I am here today. If your house looks like this, you are not alone. Sometimes we fall behind, but hey, we get right back up, and we get right back on track. So this is actually Labor Day weekend when I'm filming, and I'd like to say having an extra day made all the difference, but I would be lying. <laughs> Our entire Saturday was taken up by an away game that was two hours away, so as you can imagine, we were all just exhausted when we got home from football and cheerleading. But here we are pushing through, and I'm starting off in my bedroom so I can get all of the laundry going. As you saw in the intro, we had mountains of laundry, and thankfully most of it was clean and it just needed to be folded and put away. But <laughs> laundry is the song that never ends, am I right? Simple. 
functional, but still inseparable. Yeah, we just never get it right. You're playing games with me, me and my sympathy, but not enough to say goodbye. Oh, 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 we stick together, but I know, oh, oh, it isn't for the better. No, that's just how we dance with liquid confidence. We find each other every night. But if I were to let you go If I would pack my bags and leave without you And be out there on my own Then I would fall into pieces Fall into pieces Oh, 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 oh. I would fall into pieces Fall into pieces Oh, 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 oh. I would fall into pieces So as I said before, this is the song that never ends. <laughs> I was able to sit down for a few and get at least three baskets folded and put away. And as you can see, I got right back up and went to tackle the kitchen because it was getting a little late in the day and I was going to need to start dinner really soon. And I did get the rest of the clothes folded plus all of the loads that Josh was switching over for me as I tackled the inside chores. Normally, I wouldn't let the kitchen and the dishes get this bad, but these got piled up after several days of not doing them, but we were in survival mode these past two weeks with everything going on, so it is what it is, and we are getting it cleaned up now. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya
Now it's about 8 p.m. and at this point I've been going all day with loads and loads of laundry and cleaning the bedroom, not to mention exhausted from the heat this morning and I was done. I was just so exhausted. So I decided to rinse any dishes that didn't fit in the dishwasher and save them for the next day so I could unload the dishwasher in the morning and load it back up with all of the leftover dishes tomorrow. I would also take care of the dishes that needed to be hand washed tomorrow because I was just too tired tonight. Also, most of these dishes were sitting here for a few days and in my head, hand washing them would not get them clean enough. And I don't know about y'all, but when I learned to do dishes, I was always taught that the dishwasher was there to sanitize the dishes, not to scrub the pots. Let me know in the comments down below if you can relate to this. We always had to pre-wash the dishes before loading them into the dishwasher and I still do that to this day. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers.
It's now the next day and I got the sheets all done, but after cleaning all day yesterday, I literally threw the sheets on the bed and got in last night. <laughs> I have to say, I'm not normally one of those people who wake up and make their bed, but today I was feeling particularly anxious and overwhelmed by the fact that I had so much to do. And I read somewhere that making your bed can trick your mind into thinking that you're a productive person <laughs> or something like that. So I gave it a shot. I have noticed that when I'm really stressed out or overwhelmed, my productivity and my motivation just completely tanks. It's something that I have to battle against frequently too because of how hectic things are for us right now. But I have to say, after I made my, after I made my bed, it did make me feel more organized and I was in desperate need of that. Get it in time. 
So after I made my bed, I went into the kitchen and I unloaded the dishwasher and reloaded it with the remaining dishes, but you wouldn't know it because the universe was working against me today and my storage space was full. So that chipped out a few hours of my day trying to get space freed up so I could finish filming. Of course, when you make a plan, God laughs. <laughs> And I just had to accept the fact that I was not gonna get everything done on this day. So I took a break from filming this video, worked on a few DIYs and got my produce prepped for the week while my phone reset to clear some space. Find time, just want the mood to be right. Keeping it low in the night, yeah. So long Since I get a glimpse of a light It's blurring out my eyes Oh, oh, we should open up a window Oh, oh, I can't see clear Oh, oh, at least I know how to window To window Cause it's just my habit I can't describe it And now that my phone has reset, I was able to get back to the table and clear up the floor. But again, we have reached the end of the day and I needed to get dinner started. I'm good, giving a compliment. I'm yours if you need a friend, yeah, yeah. Fake one, staying until the end. Yeah, I know how to play pretend. Tell me how do I get inside oh, oh, Open up your mind oh, oh, And there's I know how to win a fight To win a fight Cause it's just my habit And I can't describe it Day three, here we go. <laughs> Thankfully, there wasn't a whole lot left to do. I needed to tidy the living room. While I did that, I let the Roomba go in the kitchen. And while the Roomba was going, I am in the bathroom and cleaning that up. And thankfully, the end of the list is in sight. <laughs>
So after this long weekend, our drink fridge is severely depleted. So one of the things that truly brings me joy is watching restocking videos on TikTok. So here's my not so great attempt. Hope you enjoy it too. We actually had a major thunderstorm coming through while I was filming this video and we actually lost power for a few minutes. So I had to stop recording and close the fridge up real quick so that I didn't lose all of the cold that was in the fridge already. But thank you guys so much for joining me here today. It truly does mean the world to me. I hope you find my videos motivating. And if you do and you know someone who could use the motivation too, feel free to share my channel with them. I am also active over on TikTok and Instagram. All my handles are listed in the, descrip in the description box below. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cleaning motivation. And of course, we are chock full of those real life moments. Fall is right around the corner, so stay tuned and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.